Hello Money Masters! Welcome back to Amateur Money, the channel that's all about empowering you to take control of your financial future. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our money-wise tips and tricks. Today we're tackling a subject that affects us all, inflation. That's right, we're talking about the silent assassin of your purchasing power, the relentless foe of your financial freedom. But don't worry, as always, we're here to arm you with knowledge and strategies to combat this invisible enemy. We're going to understand how inflation impacts your money and, most importantly, we'll learn how to stretch your dollar further. So, let's dive right in. What is inflation? First off, let's clarify what inflation is. At its most basic level, inflation is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising. Consequently, our purchasing power, or the amount of goods or services that one unit of money can buy, is falling. Imagine this. If a gallon of milk cost you $2 last year, and this year it costs $2.10, that's inflation at work. You're paying more for the same amount of milk. But let's delve a bit deeper. Inflation is typically measured by the Consumer Price Index CPI a tool used by economists to gauge the average change over time in the prices paid by urban consumers for a basket of goods and services. This basket can range from everyday items like bread and milk to bigger ticket items like cars and houses. It's like a snapshot of our everyday expenses, providing a vital tool for understanding inflation and informing monetary policy decisions. Central banks, such as the Federal Reserve in the US, have the responsibility of managing inflation. Their goal is to keep inflation at a moderate and steady rate. But why is this important? Well, too much inflation, known as hyperinflation, can lead to a rapid and uncontrollable increase in prices, causing people to lose confidence in the currency. It's like being on a runaway train with no brakes. On the other hand, too little inflation, or deflation, is also problematic as it often leads to decreased economic activity. When prices fall, people often delay purchases in the hope of getting a better deal in the future. This can slow down the economy, much like a car running out of gas. Striking the right balance between too much and too little inflation is key, and that's why understanding inflation is so crucial for both policymakers and individuals alike. So, when we talk about inflation, we're not just talking about prices going up. We're talking about a fundamental aspect of our economy that affects everything from the cost of your grocery shopping to the decisions made at the highest levels of economic policy making. Effects of inflation. Inflation impacts us all, but its effects on our personal finances can sometimes be subtle yet profound. The most direct impact is the erosion of our purchasing power. Essentially, your dollar simply can't buy as much as it once did. The goods and services you could once buy for a certain amount of money now cost more. It's like running on a treadmill that's slowly speeding up. You have to run faster just to stay in the same place, and this can make it harder to save, harder to plan, and harder to meet your financial goals. But the effects of inflation extend beyond the surface. Let's take a moment to talk about interest rates. Central banks, like the Federal Reserve in the US, often raise interest rates in response to rising inflation. This is done to slow down the economy and keep inflation in check. But for the average person, this means the cost of borrowing increases. Imagine you're in the market for a new home or car, or if you carry a balance on your credit cards, higher interest rates can hit your wallet hard. On the flip side, if you have money in savings, higher interest rates mean you earn more on your deposits. So, as always, there's a silver lining if you know where to look. Finally, let's touch on income. If your wages don't keep pace with inflation, you're effectively taking a pay cut over time. This is why it's crucial for workers to push for raises that at least match the rate of inflation. And here's a scenario that's often overlooked. If your income keeps up with or even exceeds inflation, you could find yourself in a higher tax bracket. This could increase your tax liability and should be a key consideration in your financial planning. In short, inflation is like a ripple in a pond. It starts at one point but quickly spreads, touching everything from the price of your morning coffee to the size of your paycheck, and even the returns on your savings. Understanding these effects is the first step towards making informed financial decisions. Stretching your dollar. But here at Amateur Money, we don't just dwell on the problem, we focus on the solution. So, how can we stretch our dollar further in the face of inflation? Let's explore some strategies that cater to a wide range of financial circumstances. 
Firstly, understand where your money is going. Regardless of income level, tracking your spending is crucial. This can help you identify areas where you might be able to cut back. There are many free budgeting apps available that can help with this. Even small savings can add up over time. Next, consider investing in inflation-protected securities if they are within your reach. A prime example of these in the United States is Treasury Inflation-Protected Securities, or TIPS. This is one way to ensure your investments keep pace with inflation. Also, look for ways to save on your biggest expenses. Shopping at discount grocery stores, using public transportation instead of owning a car, or finding a roommate to help split housing costs are viable strategies for all income levels. Another strategy to consider, especially if you have some capital to invest, is diversifying your investments. This can be a powerful way to safeguard against inflation. Stocks, real estate, and commodities are different asset classes to consider. Remember the value of time as a form of currency. You can often save money by investing a little more time. For example, cooking at home instead of eating out or mending clothes instead of buying new ones. These strategies can help everyone stretch their dollar further. Consider boosting your earning potential, whether that's asking for a raise at your current job, picking up extra shifts, or turning a hobby into a source of income. For those who can, switching to a higher paying job or even starting a side gig could be beneficial. Saving wisely is another essential strategy. For some, this might mean opting for high yield savings accounts or certificates of deposit. For others, it could simply be about setting aside a small amount each month to build an emergency fund. Lastly, education is one of the most powerful tools for financial empowerment. There are numerous free resources available online to help you understand personal finance and make informed decisions. Knowledge is power, and every bit of learning can help you make the most of your money. Remember, everyone's financial situation is unique, and what works for one person might not work for another. It's always a good idea to speak with a financial advisor or conduct your own research before making significant financial decisions. In the end, understanding and adapting to inflation can help you maintain your financial health and keep your financial goals within reach. Conclusion. So there you have it, folks. Inflation might be an inevitable part of our economic reality, but it doesn't have to spell disaster for your finances. With the right knowledge and strategies, you can navigate the inflationary waves and keep your financial ship steady. Remember, the key is understanding and planning. Be aware of how inflation can erode your purchasing power and plan accordingly. Because here at Amateur Money, we believe that with knowledge, comes power, and with power, comes financial freedom. That's it for today, Money Masters. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And remember, every dollar counts, so make yours work for you. Until next time, keep mastering your money.